Speaking of great show, so a few years after 90210 ended, What I Like About You. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Exp- I mean, listen, you, Amanda Bynes and Leslie Grossman, like you had me at like, what could go wrong, right? I mean, it was such a great show. I remember after I finished 90210 thinking, what am I going to do now? Or should I do anything? Or, Let me just take a minute to figure myself out. You know, it was such a whirlwind of a 10 year run. Um, and I took a few years off and I realized I've done so much drama. Let's, let me try comedy. I've never done that. So it was really hard to get in those doors though, because people did not want to see me as a comedic actress. And then I, I met Will Calhoun, who was the producer from Friends. And I was so just humbled and uh, excited to, for that learning experience. I, I went in with just open arms and said, teach me. I don't know how to do this, but I, I know I can do it. I'm a funny person and I love to laugh, but um, it was a whole new craft that I had to learn on the job, basically. Um, and they were so wonderful and, and patient with me and guiding me. And, and I remember Will was a big part of that because he had such great experience. And um, yeah, working with Amanda, who played my sister on the show, we were like sisters. Our birthdays on actually on the same day in real life. And so uh. we're super connected in a weird way. And, um, and, and then Leslie joined the cast. Grossman and she is she's the best I love her we still talk and we talk about let's get let's get the gang back together like what would that look like and you know I I think it would be I if if I were to redo any show it would be that one because it was just so much fun and doing that kind of comedy is is such a great life you know you you get to have fun at work every day and go home at reasonable hours and uh, work with really great people so I would love to to do that show again, honestly. Wow. I mean, it was a phenomenal show. Like I said the same thing. I'm like, what? You can't top 902 and out. It was brilliant. It was fun. Would you do the show like without Amanda Vines? I mean, like, you know, her, where she says like, she's not going to act anymore. I mean, I don't know if that's really true. Like, would you do it? You know what? I've learned that uh, you never know. You know what I mean? Never say never. I would want to do the show with Amanda that would be what I would want to do. And um, I would, uh, I would just want to make sure she was in a place where she wanted to do it. And she, you know, that was what she wanted to focus on. I don't really know the answer to that right now, but something I'm definitely looking into. Let's just put that out to the universe. Let's put it out there. Leslie and I have talked about it and we would love to revisit what I like about you. Wow. Well, when that show ended, fast forward a few years, Dancing with the Stars. (laughs) Yes. Where does that fall on the range of, you say comedy is difficult, of difficult yeah. things that you have done but in your career? That falls in the, please don't ever make me do that again category. Uh, you know, I got, I got into it and I was, I had no idea what I was really getting into at that time. Because I think it was only like the third or the, maybe the fifth season of the show. Yeah. And um, it was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I had had a Baby, maybe like a six month old baby at home. My last daughter was only six months old when I started that. And um, also it was Derek's first season. Derek Huff was my partner and it was his first season on the show. And he didn't know what he was doing either. I mean, yeah, he's an amazing dancer. He can do anything on his feet, but he really didn't know, you know, about this kind of format or anything. So he was learning as he was going, I was learning as I was going and it was terrifying. Like just being in front of a live audience and having that kind of pressure and trying to remember the steps. It was, oh, it was crazy. Well, he has said that his most embarrassing moment on the show and the history of his experience with the show was when he dropped you. (laughs) Great, yes. Well, he didn't drop me, honestly. I, he slipped on my dress and fell and then I fell. So thank God it wasn't more than that. But I do remember my dad was still alive at that time and he, was in the audience that night. And he was right in front of right that trick that we were doing. And uh, he saw the whole thing and I was like, oh, my dad's watching. Well, for someone who didn't know what they were doing and it was hard, you ended up doing pretty well. I did. I mean, I did way better than I thought I was gonna do. And quite honestly, at that point, I think it was like the semifinals. I was like, please vote me off. Please, I I can't do this anymore. You're like, this is hard. I was so relieved. (laughs) <laughs> when I got voted off. 
did you provide advice to like first Shannon and now like this past season, Brian, like, did anyone reach out to you and say, Jenny, give us some advice of how to do on a show? Well, um, not really so much advice. I just like, for instance, this last uh, season when Brian did it, I didn't even know he was going to be on it. And I stumbled upon the show and thought, oh my God, that's Brian. And so I texted him immediately and I was like, oh, good luck. You look amazing and just have fun. And, you know, that's all we kind of talked about. You're like, it's a lot harder than you might think, but good luck. I didn't want to scare him. I didn't want to tell him the truth. <laughs> that's always good. What about the reboot, the original CW reboot of 90210, which you were a part of? Right. I mean, I know it's not the favorite among some fans. Like I know Ian Ziering has said things like, you know, often imitated, never replicated, that that wasn't really 902. And I don't mean any shade by that. I'm just yeah. curious, like, cause you were part of it. Like what, how did you feel about the CW installation? Um, you know what I had, I was kind of, um, I wasn't sure about doing that. I had a friend of mine, a friend of a friend of mine was, producing it and came and sat in my living room and basically said, please, please, please do it. And I am, I didn't want to let anybody down. And I felt a responsibility to kind of help in some way. And so I did the show. I enjoyed my, you know, the parts that I was on. I wasn't a huge fan of the writing of that show, to be honest with you. I felt like, um, I don't know. I just wasn't proud of what they put out there. Uh, nothing to do with the actors or, you know, anything else other than just the messaging. I didn't feel was quite in line with what the original show sort of, you know, came up with. But, um, and yeah, I mean, it was a different show. It, it really, I don't know, it, it, it was weird. <laughs> Are you sorry you did it? Am I sorry I did it? No, I mean, if I, if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have done it, but you know, everything is, you know, it happens for a reason, so. Absolutely. What about, you know, listen, we all have heard all the rumors, you know, everyone knows about like back in the day, you and Shannon didn't get along. I, as a fan of 902, will never forget the Entertainment Weekly cover when this reboot was taking place and it was you and Shannon on the cover. Mm -hmm. So you made lots of fans happy, but you know, in all reality, how you must have been nervous to come face to face. I mean, I know you're both adults and it's many years later and you're actresses and it's a job, but like that must have been nerve wracking. I'm not the kind of person that gets rattled by confrontation or um, sort of, you know, dealing with things. Uh, so that was not, I wasn't nervous or anything. Um, I was actually looking forward to being with her. And, you know, I, I felt like, we, we both were like, let's just put this to rest. I mean, we like each other. There's nothing wrong with, you know, when we were younger, we butt heads. We we're both very strong, independent Aries women. Um, and at that time, neither of us really knew what we were doing or how to sort of navigate all those tricky waters of being in the industry and, you know, being sort of put up against one another a lot of times by a lot of different people or or instances. Um, and so neither of us were ashamed of our past and neither of us had any problem moving forward, you know? So Shannon is a, is a great woman um, and, you know, seeing her grow up and seeing myself grow up knowing that we, we are okay to disagree. We're okay to not think, you know, we're best friends, but we both have a lot of respect for one another. That's great. Yeah. Do you ever think, you know, if social media existed back in the day when you guys were doing 902 and like all these stories we heard between like you and Shannon, just everything behind, can you imagine if, do you ever think about that? Cause, cause I think people, about that. Yeah. People ask me that question and I can't even imagine social media exists now. <laughs> so it, it, it would blow my mind if it had been, if I had been so much younger and so even less equipped to sort of handle it and navigate it all. Yeah, that would have been a disaster. I can't even believe social media exists now either. There are days <laughs> I'm like, I wish it didn't, right? Oh, I wish it didn't. Remember the simple days when it, you just, I, you spent your free time doing constructive things <laughs> besides scrolling on the Instagram or whatever. I was going to say interacting with people face-to-face. -face. That, that was nice. Yeah. 
talk to me about the reboot, BH90210, 2019. So like, I mean, it kind of was the brainchild of you and Tori originally. Right, yes, that was um, us taking the show uh, in a different direction. We had, everyone always wanted the, to do a reboot and, and it was this, you know, everybody was doing reboots at that moment. And uh, I was really opposed to doing just a straightforward reboot. And, and I felt like the rest of the cast was sort of aligned with that, not really wanting to go back and redo something that just couldn't be redone again, because we're all in different places and, and the world is in a different place. Um, so we really wanted to sort of do things differently and kind of um, like the show 90210 was very groundbreaking in what it did. 